get dust all over yourself. channel if you are new here please hit the subscribe button and the bell to get notified when I post new videos I do them on a Sunday morning today I am going to be cleaning my Dyson V8 vacuum cleaner this is not being done for a very very long time I couldn't even tell you how long all I know is that it is filthy disgusting after the move so I'm going to take you through that today on what I do to clean out my vacuum cleaner. I have a few things here. I've just got two cloths, two tea towels, a brush to, this is an old makeup brush to get in all the nooks and crannies that you can't reach and obviously there's parts that you can't wet. So I've got that. I've also got um, some flora that I'm going to be diluting in the warm water. And I'm also just going to be putting a little bit of dishwashing liquid. I am doing this in my kitchen sink. Is that very hygienic? No. Am I going to give it a thorough clean after? Yes. So if you do not like me doing this in my kitchen sink, sorry, not sorry. My house, my rules. But um... <laughs> Okay, <laughs> sorry, I'm not trying to be rude, but this is just my method that I use. I know that afterwards I'm going to give it a thorough clean, so I'm not bothered, and I'm sorry if you are bothered. So first of all, what I'm going to do is um, take off the long handle, or the stick, whatever you wanna call it, put that aside. I'm going to empty out my bin. In here you'll see there is um, lots of red dust that is from our walls that um, hubby has been patching and sanding if you saw my last video I spoke about us prepping the walls so I will leave the link down, down below to last week's video if you want to get updated on that we are nearly there all the walls are patched sort of we keep finding screws and going oh my god we missed one but it's getting done and we are officially painting in two weeks time, which I can't wait. But taking the red out has just absolutely opened up the house and it just feels so fresh, even though there is white on the bottom and cream on the top. But eh. Um, so yes, emptying the bin, let's get to that. So to open these up, it's as simple as just pulling this lever here and I'm just going to empty it into my bin. And I'm just gonna give it a bit of a bang to get off any extra. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm just gonna fill up my sink with some hot water and put a cap full of Seflora. When I'm doing the filter and stuff like that, I'm not actually gonna have any dishwashing liquid in it, but my um, vacuum head is absolutely disgusting. So I'm going to be putting some um, dishwashing liquid in there when I give that a clean. Detail there to um, put the parts on. Um, so, just going to give you a quick little tip about the flora. Obviously, this is not readily available in Australia. I get mine from UK Central in Joondalup. They currently do not post, but a local online shop has recently um, opened up, and they are doing online Australia wide and do stock Sephora. It's very sought after here in Australia, so you've got to get in super quick if you are interested. I actually haven't bought from them yet, but I have been in contact with them about some of their products, and I have heard great things. So jump online and check them out if you wish to buy some Sephora or other hinching products. So I am going to put this in my water. 
and then you just take off this bit by twisting it. Soak that in there. So to take this part off, you open it up and then in here there is a little red button which I'm going to press, which takes out that part. Then to get the bin off from underneath, there is a little clip here that you just push in and this just slides off. Voila! So obviously you don't want to get this area um, wet, so I'm going to be dusting off these bits with my old makeup brush. And I'm just going to uh, wet my cloth and give it a good wring out. Just making sure that it's not too wet. Then I'm going to wipe out the bin. Um, probably going to give it a bit of a dust over. You don't really want to submerge this in water because it's got these two metal clips here. Um, so just giving it the best clean that you can, obviously in here as well. All up in this rim here. So dusty. This is so, so bad. It's embarrassing actually, but so now I'm going to give it a wipe over. So I'm going to put it in the water a little bit, but I'm going to try not to get this handle wet and the top bit wet. But Yeah, you want to let it dry out for as long as possible. So I'm definitely, because it's so cold at the minute, I'm going to give it the full 24 hours to dry out. Um, but if it was summer, definitely overnight, I think it would be okay. But, you know, everything just takes longer to dry in winter. I can't even describe the smell of Country Garden. It is my absolute fave scent of Sephora. It smells amazing. All right, so that's that one down. Look at that, that is disgusting. So <laughs> gross. getting, you know, vacuum disgusting dust all over me. <laughs> so I'm going to wring this cloth out again best as I can. Just make sure it's not too wet and then wipe it over. And don't worry guys, I have seen on um, Instagram about not putting Sephora on your vacuum cleaners, which I totally get. Um, I'm not soaking this in it. Well, actually I am. But it's diluted, you know, so it's not... I have done a risk analysis and I don't find it to be um, that big a risk. If you do not feel comfortable doing it, then I am not telling you to do it by any means. So I have given that a wipe. While I'm here, I'm just gonna wipe this over as well. There's literally wall dust all over my house. And I guess this is just the 
Oh, um, sorry. I guess this is just the beginning of renovating really, you know, light painting is nothing compared to what we're going to have to endure in the future. Um, so, you know, it is what it is, but it's, um, I feel like I clean one second and then I'm just adding another element of more planning to do, you know, you've got to then up after the cats, the dogs, your husband, yourself. And then now it's like, there's dust everywhere that just doesn't vacuum up, I find. Um, so these are the two filters, just giving them a wipe. The water here is absolutely filthy. Squeeze any excess water out, give it a shake. Shake a shake. So now what I'm gonna do, just cause this water is so disgusting, I'm actually going to dump it, put some more water in it with some, um, dishwashing liquid. So this is its current state. It is disgusting. Um, I'm gonna open it out on some paper towel. What I use to um, open up this bit is just a coin, generally a 20 cent piece or a 50 cent piece. Open it up and we're gonna give it a scrub. Basically, I'm just doing this so that I can um, be lazy and not have to clean up all the dust and hair and whatnot. I can just pick it up, put it straight in the bin. So like I said, 50 cent piece. Give it a twist. I'm gonna whack that straight in the water. So going in with my brush. I am just gonna Google if I can get this part out because that is going to bug me because down there is absolutely filthy and there's no way that I'm going to be able to get something in there to clean so be right back two hours later so from what I can see you cannot take this part out of the head um, if you know otherwise please leave a comment below because I would love to know but just from having a quick look online um, I'm not able to so I'm just getting um, an earbud and getting all this dust that is compacted down here. This would probably explain why my, <laughs> my vacuum hasn't been working too well. So now I'm just going to clean in there as best as I can. It's kind of really baked on in there. Excuse my facial expressions. It's just genuinely, genuinely grossing me out. Oh, I didn't realize this part was supposed to be clear. Funny that. <laughs> Just 
Just trying to squeeze this down here as best as I can to just get this last little bit. All right, I think I have done the best that I can there. Oh, I could use this Q-tip. There we go. Just using it to get in this bit that I can't actually get into. So the moral of this story, guys, is uh, little and often, do not leave it as long as I have left it to do because it wouldn't be such a big job. Now I'm gonna try and shove the cloth in there a little bit and clean that out. So I'm just getting a butter knife and using that to get down in that bit. that has cleaned it out a lot. Now I'm just going to give the rest of it a um, wipe over. So that is that section done. I'm going to put it over here to dry out as well. Now we are on the home stretch now. So all this um, hair and whatever caught there, I'm just going to grab my scissors so I used to have the V6 I think it was and it was really really bad for getting hot hair caught around it but this is actually a, a lot better than what um, that was so again just wiping it all over left to do is to let it dry out for 24 hours and then put it back together. together now. Just going to start off with the head. Putting the roller back in. This just clips in. There we go. This goes back on there. That just clips back on there. Then this slides in here. And there we go. All done, all back together and ready to go back to charge. it for my video today guys i really hope you've enjoyed watching this if you have please don't forget to give it a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button now if you haven't already and i will see you in the next one guys bye